Hi there boys and girls and welcome back to learning with Miss Kristen. Today we will be looking on sets. Here are our objectives. 1. Using set symbols. 2. Listing the members of intersection and union. 3. Identifying finite and infinite sets. And 4. Drawing Venn diagrams. What is a set? A set is a collection of items usually of the same kind. The items which belong together are called the elements or the members of that set. Here on screen are some set symbols and their meaning. Look carefully to make association with the symbol and the meaning. Now you see types of sets. We have subset, equivalent set, equal sets, finite and infinite sets. This video will mainly focus on finite and infinite sets as outlined in the objectives earlier. You can pause and go through each set at your own pace. Let's try to classify sets as finite or infinite. Remember, when we talk about finite, we talk about something that we can count and it comes to an end. In finite, we know not the end in which it stops. So sand on the seashore, is it finite or infinite? What about the athletes in Jamaica, finite or infinite? How about the stars in the sky? Can we count them all or we cannot? Finite or infinite? What about prime numbers between the number 1 and 100? Can we count them or can we not count them? Finite or infinite? What about counting numbers? Are these finite or infinite? How about the organs in the human body? Are these finite or infinite? What about our brain cells? Are these finite or infinite? What about the strands of hair on your head? Can you count them? Is it finite or infinite? Now we're going to look at the intersection and the unions of sets. Remember earlier we looked at set symbols. Pause and go through this in detail. Remember now the intersection is that area in which overlaps. As you can see the pointing, it's that area which overlaps. The union now is everything shared between or among those sets. Let's find the intersection and the union of the following. Look carefully at the elements of Y and Z. Now look at how we use the set symbols to show the union and the intersection. Once you have mastered sets, you will be able to construct your very own Venn diagram. A Venn diagram shows a set relation and is usually enclosed in a rectangle now for example the one on screen 
there is something we call the universal set and the universal set is everything that is inside of the rectangle even if it means it is outside of the circles remember you can go back at any time and review this lesson what i want you to do for me now is to try to make your very own venn diagram i have given you the information you will need you have your universal set you have set a set b along with the elements showing you what is in the intersection and in the union what you are going to do is you're going to use this information and construct your venn diagram after constructing your venn diagram you can show it to your teacher or your guardian thanks for watching as always and remember to like share and subscribe take care